Come on now. Listen, everybody. Bam. Bam. Whoop, Coming right at you. Whoop, whoop. Favorite day of the week, everybody. <laughs> Listen, it's Wednesday, Waterbox Live. We are so excited to be with everybody today, Rich. Again, it's wow. my favorite day of the week. We now have two favorite days of the week. We got Wednesday yes. and we got Friday. Yes. Whether you're salt water or you're fresh water, it doesn't matter. We got doesn't something matter. for you. We got so. something for everybody. <clears throat> something for everybody. And I'm telling you, it is so exciting. Another huge announcement we should talk about. Everything is in stock. Yes, sir. Come on now. Listen, guys. We just got a huge shipment in, so if you've been waiting to pull the trigger on that reef tank or that pro, peninsula, marine, whatever it is, you can go and get it right now. Yeah, and you can get it through waterboxaquariums.com. You go to saltwateraquarium.com, marinedepot.com, triquatics.com, triquatics, aqua yes. cave, and your local retailer. Please go to your local retailer mm -hmm. and say, I want Waterbox. Listen, I'm you know, ready to get my Waterbox. I'm water ready box. to support my local Come retailer on now. through Listen. the purchase of a Waterbox. And with yes. that Waterbox purchase comes sand, live rock, lights, protein skimmers. All kinds of stuff, man. It's going to be awesome. So I know it's a big announcement and uh, other people have been waiting. All of your orders will be leaving the warehouse in the next few days as they're processing everything. But mm -hmm. all new orders, we are ready for you. So And we have t-shirts. we got swag back Come in stock, now. too. So if you're a true Waterbox fan, go pick up a t-shirt. Get you some of that swag. <laughs> so today, we are diving in, quote unquote, to uh, the Marine Series. Um, because we kind of showed the Marine Series a little while ago. Um, but uh, Jess and I had a, this cool idea and said, hey, let's do a zoanthid tank. Love zoos. Yeah, so zoos. Yeah, yeah. And, and hear someone say zoos, they're talking about yeah. zoanthids. Correct, correct. So we have this, uh, this concept and we want to kind of go into that and show everybody what is uh, a zoanthid, what do they look like, um, mm -hmm. and boom, here we go. So the zoanthid corals, um, as it referred to as zoos, yeah, um, or the zo hobbyists will call them zoos or zoas. Or zoas, polyps. Yeah. Um, they're very, very small, soft, uh, and all, come in almost every color, Rich. Mm -hmm. so, um, and they grow and multiply uh, like left to right, front to back. They don't go vertical. Right, you know, so they kind the of growth. carpet over the live rock yes. and stuff. Yep. They'll even sometimes skirt along the sand. Yeah, yeah, really cool. And it might go up against the back of the glass. And here's a great image, guys, of what uh, we call zoos. Mm -hmm. um, the zoanthid coral looks like. And you can see they come in so many different colors. Some are a little bit longer extensions than others. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very cool. I yeah, mean, really they're neat. like Skittles, man. You can get them all sorts of different colors. Yeah. Look at this one. I mean, uh, it's more of like a, a paley here. This is really nice, a little bit wider. Um, they had the little mouths on them. You see the little the green little lines there. That's like the mouth of the coral. Yep. So really, really great. Here's another shot showing you all the different ones, and they kind of, they, they go left to right, you know, front to back. Mm -hmm. Really, really neat. Um, so it's a great choice also for the beginner. Somebody wants a lot of coral, you know, color in their tank. They, I, I would strongly suggest you start here with the zoanthids. Um, the yeah, lighting. They're, they're very easy to keep. Very that's, easy. That's what I love about them. Very easy. So I'm a big on fan a, of the easy. Of course. Make it easy to. on them. And also <laughs> the marine series is perfect because it is uh, an easy, you know, anybody can get into salt water with this marine mm -hmm. series. So uh, the lighting here, we're going to be using uh, the AI Prime. Um, you could use a Hydra 26 if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, and we will be able to have the Waterbox Blueprint available uh, to download here shortly. Um, yeah, so you know everybody. exactly what lighting schedule you need. Correct. For this specific tank that we're going to use with the specific corals. Love it. Come on. Love it doesn't get any easier than Listen, that, Dean. Come on. It's so easy. So the food, <laughs> you got to feed these guys about three to four times a week, you know? So these corals need a little bit more food than normal. Um, don't overfeed because we don't want any unwanted algae, yeah. but, um, but we'll show that later. Here's another one. Look at, the, look at that pink, like a uh, pink center. So also a lot of guys that are Beautiful. in this uh, hobby, they talk about like the coloration, they call it the centers or the outer. That's how they're, they're referring to the both there. So mm -hmm. it's like, oh, it has got pink centers and purple right. skirts. Right. Skirts being the outside rim. Yep. So very, very cool. Here's another one. That's almost like a, that's like a, almost like the other one flipped. Yeah. So you can see even the ones on the left, they're like, it's crazy pink and red and blue, blue mouths on them. Mm -hmm. So the, the color combinations are really, really neat. Um, very, very exciting. Now, oh, snap. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. <clears throat> Is that even real? It doesn't even look real. I'm telling you, this is a Josh Pork Sandwich. Uh, this is his photo. This is one of his tanks. He goes to all the shows. He travels around, and, mm -hmm. and I think he can sell. He even produces yeah, clothing out. and 
posters and stuff of these mm -hmm. zoos. Really, really neat. Yeah, check out uh, his Instagram. You can see more yeah, of that. Inspiration there. Love that. And then here's some of the fish that we're going to be, we're thinking about doing. Um, we have the yellow assessor up there in the top left corner. Uh, little neon gobies down the bottom below it. Uh, bicolor pseudochromus up in the top there, that, that yellow and pink, hot pink. Uh, Bangai cardinal. And our favorite is that pearly jawfish over there on the far right of the screen. Yes. That is really, really neat fish. So again, um, all relatively easy fish to keep. Very, very easy. And they're all small. I want to have the, the corals going front to back on that glass, really look nice, get a bunch of small little fish in there and, and make mm -hmm. it look really hot. So um, very, very interesting build. Um, and we want to show you guys the lineup of the Marine series, right? So we should go yeah. to that other shot um, and show everybody kind of what, what we're going to be working with. Uh, mm -hmm. over the next couple weeks and what equipment we're going to be using on the build. Uh, yeah, this is exciting. We're going to kind of remind them mm -hmm. as well of the different sizes that come within Correct. that range. Correct. Yeah, it's going to be And then great. we'll tell you which one mm -hmm. we chose. Yeah, so let's go head over there uh, and check that out. We got Jess over here. Woohoo! Come on now. What's up? I got to come into him at some point. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the Marine again. So, guys, this is the Marine series. Um, you have saw this before with us. Um, really, really great sizes. Four sizes available, mm -hmm. um, Jess, and uh, all the way from an 18 inch all the way up to a 36 inch. Yeah, so we got our 35.1, which is 18 inch mm -hmm. long, um, 45.2 or 60.2 up to the 70.3. So we've got all the way up to that three foot long, yep. which is a really great choice of sizes. Like anything you're looking Love to do, it. any different dimensions, um, a great line of choices. Um, and the depth of them is nice. And these are like all in ones with sunks, kind of your entry level uh, mm -hmm. to the Marine. Love that. Yeah. So what some people ask, hey, what, you know, what is the Marine? What, what, how do you classify a marine, you know, versus an all-in-one? We do that, and then, and then that versus a reef. So there's a lot Correct. of small differences between them. Um, but what makes this one unique is with the marine is mm -hmm. you've got like an all-in-one type filter chamber yes. in the back here. Yeah, the micron socks are in the back. Your socks are actually here. So you're your standard water box with the removable holder. These Love are two that. seven five inch filter socks. But your plumbing is also there. Correct. So. It still has the baffles here, still has, what we've done is we've actually added piping inside the back of this middle chamber, which now is drilled through the tank and it goes into the sump. Yeah, and the narrowness of that back chamber is yeah. very slim. Very so like slim. a lot of people think, oh my God, that's gonna take up so much of my display space, but it's actually a really slender yeah. um, area. So you still get a very big display area, all your plumbing and everything's hidden nicely in the back, and then you get a big sump. Dude, this is awesome. So this tank that we're you're, that Keenan's showing you here, this this one here right here is the one we're gonna set up out of this. This is the chosen one. This is the chosen one. It's the 45.2. Mm -hmm. um, once again, it, it's two feet wide, um, left to right, uh, 18 right mm -hmm. front to back on it. Yeah. Um, coast to coast overflow, two micron socks, dual adjustable nozzles. Yep. Starfire glass, Rich, remember. Yes, sir. Come on now. <laughs> and still has Don't the two forget drains. It. Two drains. So you still have your two drains. I mean, all the great features Love of it. our larger models with the plumbing. Yep. Um, but you get it in the smaller scale. And instead of like a lot of people are like, well, why not just get an all in one? Right. With the Marine, by having this big sump underneath, you can now have top off down there. You mm -hmm. have room for a big skimmer. You've got room for more flow with your pump. You've got Love room it. for reactors. Like it's, it expands your ability of what you can do with the tank. Um, so it. much greater. Listen, these are in stock right now, ready to go. Price tag on something like this? 45.2? Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. Nine yeah. nine nine. Real simple. I mean, that's you go that's up to the brand. plus edition, you're gonna you're gonna be right around twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. So yeah. you got your lighting, everything's bucks. ready to go. Now you just choose your protein skimmer and the rest of the supplies, which you guys are going to talk about. Yes. Yeah, so good affordable way to get into a sump system. Awesome. All the great features of a water box. Um, yeah, so it looks really good. Guys, we have these all lined up. I said, we'll probably scoot these out a little bit. I think we're going to set this tank up right here in this spot. And then we have some of the gear, right? Yes. So we've been talking about what gear are we going to need to set up the build um, for this zoanthid tank. And the first thing I would think of would be the sand. Yes, so sand is going to be yep. an important choice, mm -hmm. especially since uh, one of our main 
features is going to be jawfish. Yeah. And that's the plan. And jawfish are really unique. They're a favorite anytime you see them. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they're awesome fish, but they need a little bit of specialized setup for their right. aquarium. So you do need a thick sand bed. It yeah. needs to be so, a couple inches deep at least. We're going to use the Carib Sea. Uh, sand, Fiji pink, very, very popular. Same sand we used up in our Pro 230 build that everybody yes. uh, w was was liking. So we're going to use that. And how deep is that sand bed we're going to put in there? I mean, we, when you have the drawfish, I mean, minimum yeah. three inches. Um, wow. You can go okay. higher. And also, a lot of times, like around your rock, you can make it mound up a little bit higher. Okay. Or when the drawfish makes their burrow, they're going to dig up, up some of it and bring a lot of it up, too. Because sometimes yeah. they'll make up to like six inch deep area. Wow. Um, and they'll take all the shells around the tank and a little bit, you know, rockier okay. sand and make their burrow. So you got to have enough. Usually, well, like one bag of sand would be fine, but we're going to mm -hmm. add the two. Okay. And then we've got the uh, the rocks here that we we use on all of our builds. Um, clean, dry, um, you know, rock that has been quarried actually out in in South Florida. Um, really, really very porous. Great for the zoos to attach to. Marco rocks, yeah, it's a perfect yeah. choice for this type of system. And the reason we chose the 45.2 is because it is a little bit longer, mm -hmm. um, kind of more narrow of a system. It's going to be really nice because the goal of those zoos is to kind of stack it and just have that Correct. big wall of all those yeah. colors. Exactly. Um, so this is going to be really great to be able to stack. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got a couple pieces that are a little bit taller, and of course, some of that really, really nice shelf rock Love and it. since zoanthids are spreading coral mm -hmm. we want to make sure they have nice shape to go ahead and build up on Love that. Um, now jess when you're using board. this live rock do you want to add some sort of bacteria to the tank right in order to kind of get the yeah. biological life built up on yeah, it especially absolutely. yeah especially if you're using dry rock i mean it's yeah. always good to add the extra bacteria like the sand is live mm -hmm. i mean even if you use live rock you still want to add bacteria because anything to help your tank be more stable is going to be better yeah, yeah. um so that's going to be good no matter what kind of rock and sand you use. Yeah, I love it. So we're going to probably use the Fritz Turbo Start, uh, which is being sent to us. Um, it's going to be really, really great. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Yeah. It has to be refrigerated, so that's flying in. Uh, it'll be here, and we'll have it ready for you for the next week when we actually start Ooh. putting the water in it and showing you guys. But we're going over the equipment once again on the 45.2, if you're just joining us, um, the skimmer. Uh, we're going to be using the Quantum Nios 120 skimmer. Great little footprint on this thing. Yeah small, compact, does tremendous job. It's a workhorse of a skimmer. Workhorse. It's a great skimmer. We have it running on some of our other systems. Mm -hmm. um, super quiet, great performance. And like I said, with these marine systems, mm -hmm. you have room for such a good skimmer. Correct. You know, Correct. having that bigger sump and those socks actually in the back give you more space to have a bigger skimmer. Yeah. Now so. they don't need this right off the bat, right? So you can, this is an optional equipment a little bit later on. Yeah. If, you know, I did. I mean, technically, you don't have to start with a skimmer. Don't have to start, but eventually but, you're going to need it. Yeah, you are going to need right. it. Um, you know, totally. it's beneficial to get it going from the beginning, but it's Might something well. you can always add it on, on if you Of course. Want. Yeah. Um, guys, so we have a lot of questions coming in. Yeah. Please keep posting them. Once we get back in the studio, we'll go back through a lot of these questions. Perfect. So if you have questions, post them in the comments below. Wonderful, wonderful. So um, also, we're going to do a little auto top off because the 45.2 um, has a chamber yep. um, for the auto top off. So what happens is, guys, in the, the sump here, so uh, I call it the sump, this is the filter box right underneath. So the, the water is going to come through the socks up top, come down through these baffles. This is going to be our skimmer chamber right here. This is going to be our pump chamber, and this is for a top off evaporation water in here. And this is where this is going to come in. So this will go right in here, has a little pump in it, and we'll push the water into that chamber um, once it's going, right? So it for evaporation. Yeah, and that's nice because the smaller mm -hmm. the tank, the more fluctuation you can have. If yeah. you have a lot of evaporation, your saline level is going to fluctuate a lot. Correct. So, and they always say, you know, the bigger tank is technically easier as far as like certain mm -hmm. things like that. So, with this size tank, um, you know, having that top off, that system is going to top off throughout the day and Wonderful. it's going to stay consistent. Yeah, love that. And it's so hard to actually find any systems that have a built-in top-off reservoir. Of so, course. I mean, that's from marine all the way up to all reef up. and pro and peninsula. They've got the ATO units um, in there, which is yeah. really nice. We also, we decided on the Viper pump that we're going to use to power this tank. Yeah. Um, AC pump. 
so um, it has a slight adjustment on it, but really, really great. Strong pump, it more is. than plenty for this size tank yeah. um, as a return pump. That's the nice, the 3.0, like, yeah. it is a really easy, good quality pump, great. and it's like 100 bucks. Yeah. Like, you can't beat the price for a Come pump that's going to last Come you a long now. time. <laughs> so it's a great value, too. So we've got the AI Prime mm -hmm. uh, HD with the gooseneck mount um, is the plus edition for water box. Yes. So anytime you buy a water box plus edition, um, it does come with the light and the mount. So with the with the tank, it's a great great value. So we'll be mounting this light um, on this tank, and the footprint that this does is about a two 24 inch by 24 inch footprint. So this is a perfect size. It's actually be right on the money. Yeah, this would be a prime. great light for the doing a zoo tank. Um, yeah, awesome. They they can very, handle various uh, levels of lighting, yep. but also the great spectrum and being able to adjust your blues and stuff in on the prime. Mm -hmm. With those zoos, they really pop under that attending blue light. So awesome. they're one of the most fluorescing type of yeah. corals. So under that prime, it's going to look awesome. Yeah, and we're going to use the Waterbox Blueprint uh, color spectrum that we're going to put onto that light, and we'll show you guys that um, so you can actually mimic exactly what we're doing with yeah. our color for our corals, and you can download that right at home for your own That's going to be a really cool feature. Really, so, really cool. Oh, and one, just like one small yep. thing. Don't ever forget a heater. Come on, get your heater. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, it doesn't matter where you live. We live in Florida. <laughs> we still run heaters, yeah, okay? Yeah. Um, everyone needs a heater. Really important for your tank. Yeah. Um, corals and fish, they can be really sensitive to temperature fluctuations, especially fish. You yeah. will get disease and ick outbreaks and all this stuff if you have a lot of fluctuating totally, temperatures. Totally, totally. Um, so one of those simple things that sometimes people are like, do I really need to get a heater? Yes, get yeah. here. Okay. You know, also, you know, Rich likes to keep this place like an ice box in here. It's so cold in this office. Yeah, yeah. we need about five heaters <laughs> per tank because this office is freezing at oh all times. God. So we want to make sure that the temperature is constant across the board. Um, so I said, so we're also making salt water um, in, our, in our vats that we're going to be using. Um, I'm excited for this one. This is going to be great. I love zoos. I love jawfish. Yes. I love these little smaller tanks. It's going to be the really fantastic. Stuff, so. And I think this is the perfect size, guys. Once again, this is the 45.2 uh, Marine. So if you look up on our site, the Marine 45.2, it does come. You get the tank, the cabinet, the filtration, and the plumbing is all included in that price. Thousand bucks. Plus, you throw the light, the plus edition, yeah. you get the light and the mount. Boom, you're off and running. Only thing you need is a return pump, and this thing is literally ready for water. So, um, really great. I know it's tax time. People are getting their tax oh, turn yeah, money it back. Is. Come right. on now, listen, <laughs> get you some of this, man. The 45.2, great starter tank. If you're thinking about getting into the hobby for saltwater, I would definitely start here. I mean, yeah. this is fantastic. Rich, I don't know. Are you still around here, Rich? Um, I'm in the studio. He's in the All studio. Right. He's, in the studio. He's, He's looking so for questions. So we've got a lot of questions. If you have comments, you want to shout out, hey, write it below. We're going to go back to the studio, answer those questions. And we also have Fish of the Week coming up, so stay tuned. Hold on a second. <laughs> Come on now. All righty. So, Dean, we did have some pretty good questions coming in here from these guys. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> One of the, I actually saw this a couple of times, are filter cups available for these? The answer is no, we, no. we only have filter socks because it is a proprietary size. Yeah. Uh, but there are some acrylic guys out there that can make a custom cup for there you. There are, so yeah. I wouldn't make that the decision maker or whether you're gonna get it because I don't know yeah. of many tanks that actually come with cups, so. Totally agree. Um, another question, can I purchase a 40.2 without the stand? So there's a big determining factor in that 40.2 mm. number. The 40.2 is an all-in-one and is not plumbed. Yeah. So yes, you can. The 45.2 45 45 you cannot. Is the marine Correct. with the sand and the sump. So yeah, uh, yeah, and that's, that's that five gallon difference, right? So you're getting that sump. Mm -hmm. It's actually increasing your water volume because mm -hmm. you have the filtration. So um, yeah. So another yeah. another question mm -hmm. is with the the wall to wall overflow box. Mm -hmm. um, what is the actual display dimensions in that tank? That uh, the back the overflow area um, on the marine is I think maybe like I think three and three inches and three quarter. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a like right less under than four inches. Four because yeah. the the sock is two point seven five and that sits in there pretty snug. It's a really small area um, and that's what mm -hmm. I really like about the marine is that I don't think we could have made that back overflow any more narrow and still fit everything we did. But it does not take into the display space that yeah, much and, at all. Yeah, and when you really think about it in a in a with our traditional, with our Reef and our Reef Pro, where it mm -hmm. has a center overflow box, you're not putting anything in that section 
next to it. Right. So yeah. It, it's in reality, it's all the same. It's and all it's same. actually, I mean, there's a lot of room in there too, where you can actually run, you know, some of your equipment in there too. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You know, you can do heater things like that. So it's even totally. another spot, and it's water volume. Um, and it really doesn't take up much mm -hmm. display space. Are you mm -hmm. able to set up a refugium in the sump? Anything's possible. You can do anything you want. Man, listen, I love um, <laughs> Great answer. Um, I mean, a lot of people ask about so. refugiums and putting them in our models. The yeah. Pro and the Peninsula are the only ones that come with the refugium divider plate. Right. But people are doing all kinds of modifications. You can split your skimmer chamber, or if you mm -hmm. didn't want to use you know, a skimmer there, you want to refugium instead. We have people that have used the ATO reservoir and changed that to a you know, refugium. It's whatever you creative yeah. your mind wants to do. There's algae reactors that you can put on yeah. there that work with your fusion. Mm -hmm. So um, there's not a designated spot, but I've seen people do yeah, just about creative. everything. You can trick yeah. these things out, man. I'm Get creative. You. Join our Facebook group. There's a ton of people yeah, doing a lot of cool people. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. And man. James is asking how we're cleaning the filter socks on these systems. Hmm. How? Well, um, yeah, I mean, how, we, we take, how we maintain them. You do take with some the, home with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the lucky one. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, for the filter socks, they get changed one to two times a week. Mm -hmm. Clean them out, um, depending on how clogged they are and what system it is. And But I never say I let them go more than a week. And I, I take them home and they go mm -hmm. in the washing machine. Um, yeah. No detergent or anything. You can use a little bit of bleach if you want. Rinse them a couple times and let them dry out and okay. reuse. You can also use your hose. Um, you know, stuff like that. Right, right. If you wanted to, but the washing machine is just kind of easy, especially since we have so yeah, many here. Yeah, it's good to have some extras, you know, socks on hand. I, oh, I, yeah, I rotate out. Rotate them out. So stockpile a bunch, you know, get 20 socks. Yeah, it's going to make know. it a lot easier for your maintenance. And then yeah. do one, sure. big, batch one big batch in the wash. One big batch at a time, yeah. boom, and then and you're done. If you're so. like me, you just buy new ones. Just buy new ones. <laughs> <laughs> you just do that too. Come on now. Let's <laughs> so, uh, something we're going to do, and we're going to start today, is the fish of the week, the water box yeah. fish of the week week and I have selected drum roll <laughs> bam right there the hell freaky firefish everybody check that beauty out this is one that surprised me a lot of people have not seen before mm. a lot mm. of not all stores mm. carry them they this are, is like, yeah not to be confused with the regular firefish that no? you see very commonly this is the hell freaky firefish I mean now mm. uh, a tank 20 gallons or up it's reef safe very peaceful mm -hmm. Um, I love the, the shading of the pink and purple with a little bit of the yellow. Dude, this is hot, man. This is, this is straight fire right here. And most Rich. importantly, I like it because it's easy. It's easy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Comes from the Marshall Islands. It says um, diet, you know, chopped or shaved sea, uh, different seafoods, brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, uh, the frozen. They're not uh, picky. They're pretty. They're easy to keep. They're yeah. uh, one of the little bit less common of the firefish. You got pinks and purples that you see more regularly. The health yeah. will be a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. um, you don't see them in the stores as often, but they are the most beautiful. Dude, I love that. Fish they're just right gorgeous. There. They're easy. They're peaceful. You can actually have a couple of them in a yeah, tank. Yeah, not that big. You know, look, um, you know, from about an inch to two inches. You know, as it's not. It's just. It's just a perfect. Great fish for a reef yeah. tank. Love it. Yeah, love that. So every week we'll give you a new fish of the week. Also on Freshwater Fridays, we're going to be doing a freshwater fish of the week. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, really love it. We're super excited, guys. We have so many builds uh, for you coming up. I mean, it's it's incredible. I mean, we've got so many tanks yeah. here at the office. <laughs> 2019 is going to be a busy year. We wow. have so many uh, new products that came out. Yeah. We have a lot of aquariums here. It's like a little mini public aquarium. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So also, guys, we want to mention that next month we're going to be at Aquashella Dallas coming yeah. up. Huge yep. event. That's going to be a fun are, Anywhere in the vicinity of the Midwest, you need to come down to uh, the Dallas show. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be sponsoring uh, a great, tremendous thing there with the YouTubers and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Ooh. awesome. Yep. So, I mean, definitely check that out. First show yeah. of the year for people to come, come and see come us. Come on, man. We're going all in. And I think it's uh, aquashella.com. Right? Perfect. Yeah. We'll post the link we'll down in the, the comments. Uh, if we didn't get to your question today, we will after the show. Love we'll it. hop in there and try to chat with you guys. Dude, love it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. We will see you this Friday for the Freshwater Show. And until next week, see you guys. See ya.